Oh, Alright, time for another math. Easy solution. Discuss uh, just a quick video on the on graphing the natural logarithm or y equals ln of x. So uh, when you graph this first thing, well, we know the domain from our earlier videos on logarithmics and their properties. That basically the um, yeah, the domain in this case is going to be well, well, x is greater than zero. You see this in my earlier videos, or or in other words, just from zero to infinity right here. Yeah, and this is just an open interval, meaning it, it does not really equal zero or infinity there. But basically, so anything greater than zero. So now to understand this function y equals ln of x, we need to find first the limits at infinity and negative infinity. Yeah, so first let's look at the limit as basically you as x approaches infinity and, and what value we get for ln of x. So to get this uh, idea, the first thing we should do is look at ln of, uh, this is what my textbook does, basically if you go look at ln of 2 to the power of n, where n is just any uh, positive integer. Yeah, let's write that down, positive integer. So basically when we have this, like I showed my last video with uh, I think law 3, you could write this one as using logarithmic properties, basically bring the n down, so of n times ln of 2. And also that ln of 2, this is also a positive number right here. So this is going to be uh, ln of 2 is, yeah, this one is basically greater than 0. And you can see this from the uh, definition of logarithmics, uh, which I went over using integrals and derivatives. Basically, this is the area, when you look at the area under the curve, this is, this is going to be uh, greater than 0. You can see more on this in the video link below. So if this is greater than 0 and this n is positive, so then basically ln 2 to the power of n is also greater than 0. Yeah, and in fact, this part right here goes to infinity because as you just increase n uh, uh, to infinity, well, or I'll just write that, out, that down, as n approaches infinity. So as, as you approach n to infinity, this ln 2 is always positive. You just bring this down, so positive number times positive number, and it's a really large positive number. You're just going to go to infinity. Yeah, and another thing we know that is that the derivative of ln of x is, is basically 1 over x. And since the domain is uh, from zero, it was positive from zero to infinity, then basically this is greater than zero uh, for basically x is greater than zero. So if we have this case right now, because it's just going to be one divided by any positive number, we're just going to get a positive number. So this means that we have an increasing uh, function. Yeah, so if it's increasing function, the derivative is always positive. It doesn't matter what this is, if this is ln 3, 4, whatever, it's always going to be uh, increasing. So what this means, if it's always increasing, then obviously ln x approaches infinity as x approaches infinity right here. Yeah, or, or writing in, in limit form, limit as x approaches infinity of ln of x, this equals to infinity. Yeah, so now let's look at what happens when you have a limit as x approaches uh, 0 from the right side, because remember the, the limits, the domain of the function is from 0 to infinity. So let's, let's approach 0 from the right side, and that's with this positive uh, sign right there of ln of x, and see what this equals to. And now the way of solving uh, what this is, well, what my calculus book does, it's pretty, it's pretty uh, neat and interesting. What it does is, let's say, let... Uh, basically t equals to 1 over x right here. Then we basically know from this case, well obviously t will go to infinity as x approaches uh, 0 from the right side. So if you're approaching 0 from the right side of this, 1 divided by a really, really small number, it's going to be a really, really large number. So it's going to approach infinity as you go over here. And also, if we rearrange this one right here, we're going to get basically x is equal to, just bringing this side, 1 over t. So now when we use also what we have over here, combined with uh, writing this like this, let's say you go a limit as x approaches 0 from the right side of ln of x. Now if we just change a variable to this t, this equals to limit now as if we switch everything so the x is 1 over t. Yeah, of ln right here, 1 over t. And now this is going to be, uh, we're switching this 0 plus or this x to t now. So this equals to basically t approaching infinity. Because as, as, as x approaches 0 uh, or from the right side, t is basically going to infinity right here. So we just put in infinity right over here. 
So we've changed a variable. Now if we use the other logarithmic law where if you have uh, basically one divided by a number, this will equal to now limit as t approaches infinity of ln one and then subtracted by ln of t right here. So this is just, you can see proof of this in video link below. And also we know that ln of one is equal to zero. So I'll just write this equals to zero or ln one. So now what we could write down here is equals to limit as, as t approaches infinity of basically, now this, this cancel out, so we're gonna get a negative ln of t. And now this equals to, well, this negative, we could just bring it out. And now this is a ln t. And we're putting this in, and we already know that the ln, uh, the limit as x approaches infinity of ln x is infinity. In this case, we're just switching the variable to t. So t, put in here, is going to be infinity. So we're going to get a negative infinity. Or in other words, put this back down. We're going to get limit as x approaches 0 from the right side of ln of x equals to negative infinity. So the same thing, but just a variable is different. So we've proven this. Yeah, and we also now, if we go back to see if it's whether concave up or down, we know that uh, d over dx of ln of x is equals to one over x and is basically greater than zero for x is greater than zero. So now if we take the second derivative, so if we go d, uh, d squared dx squared, it's notation for second derivative, of now this one right here is one over x. This is equal to just using basic power law. We're gonna put, this is gonna be equal to negative one over x squared. So this would be x to the power of negative one, bring it down. And then we just uh, subtract a power, but it's already negative. So it's gonna be negative one and plus negative one. So it's gonna be a two. So this is the derivative of this. And as you can see here, four x is greater than zero. This is always positive, but there's a negative sign. So this is always greater than zero. So what we have is ln of x is basically increasing, is increasing, yeah, it's increasing, but because the second derivative is less than zero everywhere, but it's uh, concave down. And I'll just write that downward right here. Yeah, now if you were to graph it here, like I've graphed a Google graphic, I would basically put everything that we've just uh, found out above into here. As you see, as you approach zero from the right side, you're obviously going down to uh, negative infinity right here. And as you approach all the way into infinity, the function here is going higher and higher to infinity. And as you see, it's concave down, so that's why it's curved like this. And also here at this point, ln of one, this is basically a ln of one is equal to zero. And also another thing is uh, this this number one here, which I'll, uh, I've shown in my earlier video and uh, and I'll go over later as well using integrals and logarithms. It's gonna be somewhere over here, uh, something like that. And this is actually the number e, or it's gonna be 2.68, I think, something like that. And it's gonna be the number e, and this is when uh, ln e equals to one. I'll go over this uh, in detail later on, so stay tuned. So anyways, that's all for today. I just wanted to go over the graph for ln of x. And thanks, thanks for watching. Uh, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And yeah, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.